Hey YouTube, hi. My name is Mark and this is Nixon Motorsports. This channel is all about motorsports from racing to exotic cars and uh, even simulators. Today we're going to talk about telemetry and um, we're going to show you telemetry, how we use it in our race car and um, I think you'll find this interesting. So let's go with it, all right? Come on. So what is telemetry? Let's talk about that first. I think it's important, by the way. Here's Jeff over here. Jeff, say hi. Hello. So telemetry for race car purposes, right? Telemetry is taking defined data, uh, defined data from your race car, and it's transmitting that data um, over, wirelessly over the wall to your pit crew, um, whoever needs to and, and should see the data from the car. But it's ultimately streaming that data live. Think of it like Netflix, right? Everybody knows, you know, streaming services, right? Um, telemetry for race cars is very much like that. It's, it's streaming your race car data at a, at a, a slower throughput, um, but it's streaming that data wirelessly over to the pit wall. Does it make sense? So, so let me walk around. Let me show you. There are a, a couple components for telemetry that you need to be aware of. The first, um, your race car has to have modems or, or radio modems for, for the uh, telemetry system. So let me walk over here and show you what we use. Now, we, we're a MoTeC uh, house, if you will. Everything we have in our race car is MoTeC. And it's a little dark in here, but let me go down. If, if you can see this guy, and I'm just going to point it out here so you can see that. Um, this is a a radio transmitter. Now this is 4G. This is not the old um, radio frequency transmitters. So this is actually broadcasting over cell, 4G cell networks. And so it's actually um, receiving CAN messages from the MoTeC logging system. And it is connected to a receiving 4G cell modem as well that's receiving the data on the other end. Does that make any sense? So let me go over here and show you what we do. So that's the race car. Let's walk over here to our, this is our little pit wagon, if you want to call it that, right? So in this guy, if, if you look up here, you'll see um, another another um, telemetry modem itself. Now this one actually is the receiving side of the, um, the data stream that I told you about. What we do to make it even more trick, if you will, so we, we actually um, we actually receive it in the pit cart like I, like I mentioned. We, it, this is now a serial output to your computer. And instead of having, you know, some cable from your laptop at the pit wall to the modem, what we did is we actually just converted over to a wireless um, Bluetooth device for the pit wall. So what that does, it allows us to connect the laptop itself, and, and this is the laptop we use on the pit wall. It allows us to connect. It allows us to connect via Bluetooth to the pit walls device uh, telemetry modem. And we got about a two, 300 foot range here. So it allows a lot of flexibility. So again, this is not a, a, a like super deep tutorial on how to set up telemetry for your race car and so on. You know, we just, we wanted to share what we do for telemetry and, and how useful it is and how we use it ourselves, right? So if I pan over here, um, this is actually, it's a busy screen. Now, this is MoTeC. These worksheets are um, all configurable, so this is everything that we want to see. There's a lot on here, but this, this when we're on track, actually is um, showing live data from the race car, right? And so, I don't know, Jeff, you use, you use the... Um, you use this system on track. You know, why don't you talk about you know what you focus on? Um, you know, obviously the the high value things for this yeah. itself. So I watch 
I watch for engine parameters, making sure that you know we're not losing oil pressure, we're not getting too hot with water, water temperature, uh, oil temperature, those kinds of things. Um, but I'm also, from a performance standpoint, I'm looking at uh, tire temperatures, uh, tire pressures, uh, making sure we're in range, making sure we're getting the tires to, to operate in their window, uh, depending on if we're using like a soft compound or a, um, a medium-ish compound. Um, and then I can see where Mark is on the track uh, with the GPS. Um, so mainly I'm, I'm, I'm really making sure the car is, is running properly, but then making sure it's running in its performance window um, for that. Do you, do you want to talk or just maybe point out a couple things on the screen here that sure, you, you sure. focus? So we've got two oil temperatures. One's coming out of the motor, one's coming out of the cooler. And so there's a difference there. You can see those numbers difference. Um, there's fuel pressure, fuel temp, and then there's water. There's two water temperatures, one out of the motor, one out of the, out of the radiator. And so I watch those and we have them color coded. So if they, if they go above a certain temperature, it will change colors and we can we can see that that it's that it's heating up that it's getting outside of its range um, so that's an easy quick thing to look at because of the because of the color oh that's true so actually let me call this out and you speak to that as well so as a driver i like to focus on driving i have a few alarms and things on my dash but knowing that i have you know an engineer in the race wall wall who's watching tons of data of the race car it gives me a lot of comfort knowing that um, um, you know I have that second set of eyeballs and I have an example and if you remember this Jeff we um, we were on the track I think it was last year working with telemetry and um, I went out on track and I had a, a an alarm on my dash that was telling me that my water pressure was was low and um, I called over the radio to talk to you and I don't remember. You don't remember. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I remember. So um, anyway, I call over the radio to to ask, hey, I have an alarm here, my water system, what's going on? You know, and Jeff was able to see. And he goes, no, your pressure looks fine. Um, not an issue at all. So that's just one example that comes to mind. But um, there was, it was a setting on the dash. I think it was, so. It was too yeah. low for the setting on the dash for yeah. the alarm. And so he called me and was able to still run. Because... So there's a lot of data here. Now, we're not on track right this minute, but we can actually do a, a quick playback on this. Do you want to actually hit play, and um, it, will show, it will show people watching what it looks like. So here, let me scroll over here, and if you want to talk about any piece here, Jeff, while yeah. it's running. So I'm watching. You know, I can see the steering here, his RPMs. Um, you know, I can I can see these fluids as they're moving, as, as things are changing, as he's going around the track here. Um, the, the different temperatures, the, the difference in ride height and the, the downforce levels here. But like the, the tire temperatures, we're looking at an average tire temperature as, it, as it's going forward. Uh, this set here is for our, our soft tires. That's why the windows are lower. Uh, and then these are our, our medium tires. Um, and so the, the temperature windows are a little bit higher for those. I don't this particular run we're focusing on these here's the here's the the four temperatures over here for the four tires and then the tire pressures over here so i'm i'm watching this but then i can also look at his lap times and i can see how quick is he compared to a, a previous reference lap um, it's all in seconds so we have to do a little bit of a little bit of conversion um, but it, it's not hard to do. I can see a speed. I can see what gear he's in, what lap he's on. All of that, all of that information is, is really good because um, I can help coach him um, with traffic, with different things, um, what we're seeing, what he's seeing, um, those kinds of things. So it's, it's, it's very valuable, very, very good information. Cool, is there, is there any, here go ahead and stop this thing from running. Is there, um, is there anything else that comes to mind that you want to talk about? And well, how about this? So we ran for years um, with no telemetry. Yep. And um, now that we have uh, telemetry in the race car, I don't know any after or last minute thoughts on that. Or, you know, would you recommend 
the average racer to look into telemetry. Wait, hang on a second. We're not selling telemetry, guys, here, just so you know. We are massive uh, MoTeC um, users, um, as we are with, with AIM and so on, but we're not selling anything here, just, just so you know. But would, would you recommend, like, the average racer to invest in telemetry, or do you think that's only for the crazy maniacs like we are? Um, it, it's got its usefulness for sure. Um, if you know, there's certain sanctioning bodies that'll let you run it. Some of them won't. Right. Um, so if 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 you can and and you want to, it it is a valuable tool. It's it's nice to have that data live. Um, it's 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 good to be able to look back at it like you can with all the all the data acquisition systems, but to have live streaming telemetry is, is if you can do it, I would recommend it. It, it you know, there's a, there's a cost to it, but it's, it, it definitely helps. It's helped us. <laughs> See, so it's not just for me. I just wanted to hear if Jeff was going to say that. And I didn't ask him this question beforehand, just so you guys know. Um, so for me, the thing that I find valuable, I, I mean, I, I touched on it is is as a driver having someone on the pit wall who is watching chassis, engine, you know, virtually everything um, live as another set of eyes is is, is refreshing. Um, but also, you know, the things like Jeff can actually see, you know, tires as they, you know, each corner as they are approaching their optimal tire temperatures, you know, um, you know, he's he's able to convey, you know, um, time to go basic um, um, pieces or you know to me over the wall or you know I need to get more heat in the front or whatever it may be all of those things are um, are pretty valuable when it when it comes to uh, telemetry so um, I would say if you're a data freak <laughs> right uh, if you are a huge data guy you love um, tracking and having as much data on your race car as you can. Um, telemetry is not crazy hard, um, and it has a lot of value. I mean, I would suggest you look into it. I know there's a few other um, brands out there other than MoTeC. Uh, the MoTeC system for me uh, on the telemetry side, I mean, it's it's pretty much a, um, you set it up and it pretty much a plug and play uh, just does its thing. So. Um, that's it for this video. We'll go ahead and wrap this one up. I just wanted to talk about telemetry for a minute. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, we got a lot of videos coming out, so stay tuned. We got a doubleheader race coming up in, uh, see, mid-May. Um, and uh, we'll bring you along with that so you can see how, how that goes as well, okay? That's it for this one. Until, until next time, ciao.